Hey, what's up guys? Welcome everybody to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be trying to survive 100 days in a medieval style world. Now, inside this world, there's ancient tribes and cool castles to conquer and explore. I hope all of you guys are strapped in and ready. Let's just jump straight into it. No more wasting time. Alright, so we've just made it inside of the world and looks like we've spawned next to some kangaroos or something like that. I don't know what these guys- these are not kangaroos, what am I saying? Anyways, let's start off with getting some wood at this beautiful orange tree. Alright, so these are actually called warm blossom saplings. That's pretty cool. We also have an animal dictionary here. Numerous strange creatures inhabit the overworld, nether, and the end. This text is intended as a guide to help identify and chronicle these different- Whoa, what is that sound? Hold on. Yo! Hello hey, there. elephant! What's up, bro? Um, I think those guys are nice. They should be nice. Well, since we're in a medieval world, we've already spawned right next to this big old castle. This is gonna be great. Before we go and explore that thing, I'm gonna craft some basic stuff. I started off with making an axe, and then I'll around and realized we're not really near any trees we kind of spawned in a really flat plains area i walked nearby to some really short and stubby trees i guess these guys are gonna have to do for now we really don't have another choice but yeah, of course, since we're in medieval times, there are tons of animals around just kind of roaming the plains. Now, I'm trying to figure out how to get inside of this castle, but I think I'm gonna need a pickaxe for that. I don't have one yet. So I spent most of day one just mining and just getting some basic tools. I eventually made myself a stone pickaxe, and now I had a bunch of coal. And I found a dungeon, like, really close to the surface, so I think this is pretty lucky. Not sure what spawner is in there, though, so I'm gonna go in really fast. Oh, there we go. That was pretty clean. Nothing spawned. What is that thing inside of there? It kind of looks like a creeper. I'm not sure what that is. But inside of the chests, we got a green ruin, splendid robe, harp crossbow, some silver and iron. Silver is a brand new ore. I do not know what that does. I'm just gonna take everything. Now this splendid robe will give us some decent armor protection for the start. That's pretty nice. In the second chest, we have a frost scythe. Dude, this could be this could be pretty good. We might not need to make a sword for the first couple of days. Now I came back up to see if I could go into the castle, but there were some scary guards standing around the outside. I was really low on hunger and health because I actually ran into a couple of mobs, so I think I might have to go find something else for now. Probably is not safe for me barging in there. Huh? So I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna settle down like somewhere near this medieval castle looking thing. I really want to go inside of it, but I just don't think I'm ready right now. I'm gonna create a small, really ugly looking house because we're likely gonna be moving out of this like really, really soon. This is just for like a couple of days, hopefully. I'm gonna layer it with some spruce wood here. This is probably a combination I bet none of you guys have seen. Really making this thing super ugly, man. But yeah, you know, sometimes it feels good to just settle down after you have a full inventory and you've been exploring for a lot. Crafting myself a furnace. I'm gonna get my iron smelting in there. So, um, this dude just stared at me for a while. Don't know what he wants, but he's kind of creepy. He looks like a mini zombie kind of. He's just like super short. Yo, what's up, bro? Oh, whoa, chill, chill. Wait, wait, I think this guy's like friendly. I don't think he'll actually hurt me. Yo, wait, goblin trader. He has some nice trades. Oh, wait, hold on. Iron ore for two iron ingots. Wait, this is actually clutch. I actually haven't smelted my iron ore yet. I forgot about doing that, actually. That saved us a lot of time. Let's see what we got here. Uh, we got some, ooh, diamond shovel with fortune six, efficiency six. We just need to somehow find an efficiency 5 book. But yeah, we gotta keep this guy alive though. He is very important. There we go, you little rascal. We got you trapped inside of a pit. Sorry, dude, but I really need you to stay alive. I then started to collect some seeds. I wanted to see if I can make a farm. A proper farm, because our melons just aren't cutting it. Also, I don't think I talked about this, but I added a jungle wood layer above that spruce. So now our house, I'm not even gonna lie, doesn't even look as bad as I thought it was gonna be. After a bit more walking around that day, I finished up the farm by nightfall. Ah, uh, these first couple of nights are tough. Just gotta wait it out. When I woke up today, I wanted to craft an iron-plated shield. I'm not exactly sure what it does. It's probably just a better shield. I mean, it looks really cool, and I can actually make it with the ingredients I have. All right, I should have everything I need. There we go. Oh, and it does actually function like a real shield. That's perfect. I don't know what else I was expecting. Maybe we can take on this fortress now. Also, I don't know why I didn't think about this earlier, but why don't I just kill some of these animals around me for food? There's animals everywhere. First, like a pro, I took out this creeper. And then there was this odd looking black pig, which I swiftly killed for its pork chops. Also, this other animal over here was really fast. There's no way I was gonna get to him. Well, guys, we are eating good today. All right, come here, guards. You guys are nothing to me, man. 
Yo, I completely demolished that kid. He drops iron too. He didn't even hit me one time. All right, I found this crack here that somehow I missed the first time. Also got this emu egg from the ground. See if we can hatch it later. That'd be kind of cool. Well, inside of here, it's looking kind of empty. We do have some armor though. I might just take some of their iron armor, I guess. Don't mind if I do. Well, I found a chest that had a strength potion, a golden apple, and 32 steak. Like, what? Well, our food is kind of chilling now. I don't really need that to like farm it mid. Dude, these guys have so much health. Finally, I killed them. And there's more. Second chest was kind of trash. Another chest had some diamond boots with them. Over here, I'm getting kind of reckless with these guys. Like, dude, I took too much damage from him. It was kind of close. But we did find a diamond sword. I grabbed that and ran away as fast as possible. I don't know why I didn't just kill him earlier there. So I went to check on our goblin trader and it looks like he did actually despawn, which is super sad, man. He would have been so great for us early on. All right, so since our area isn't too interesting, I'm gonna pick up everything and I think we're gonna be moving somewhere else now. I'm gonna take everything that we're gonna need. I'm just gonna leave some of the useless stuff behind. Okay, so I'm like about to leave and I just see these weird looking like tribal dudes like outside of my house, just like talking and chilling. I walked up to them and they started dancing and then just ran after me, dude. I was freaked out. I began running away, but these guys were still following me. They were doing a lot of damage too. They had like poisonous spears or something. I kept on running for a while, but I looked back and they were still following me. These guys just will not give up. Eventually I lost them behind like a mountain. I think I'm safe now, but let's now continue our journey to find a better settlement area. I stumbled across this village and I soon found out that it was actually abandoned because there were just cobwebs everywhere. I was kind of sad to see though because I really wanted to find like a nice bustling village with lots of people. At least we got a bed now though, we gonna sleep here tonight. In the morning I was gonna go ahead and loot around into the village but there were just so many mobs around here, armored skeletons and like multiple creepers, it was getting crazy. I really should not be taking this much damage though. After I got the whole mob situation sorted out, I started building like a little foundation for our new house here. It's nothing special, it's just like a simple a little settlement where I can put my stuff down. After that, I spent a bunch of time just chopping down trees for our brand new house. There were only acacia trees around me, and that's kind of depressing since I don't really like that color of the wood. I then made a bunch of major improvements to our house and began working on the roof. I'm gonna try my best with this pinkish looking wood. Oh, okay, so finally we got our trash house set up, now it's time to go and loot around this place. I'm also gonna be stealing all their chests because I love the look of those things. Jeez, the creepers in this place, man. I can feel it though. One of them are eventually gonna explode on me. Can't even lie, man. A lot of the loot here was pretty garbage. I didn't really find anything that great. Also, I did have an accident with the creeper. I think we all knew that was coming, but I did find a doom crossbow. My inventory was getting really full though. And there was also this ancient tome. I, it kind of looked like a book. I had they're falling far in it. Some decent goodies. I don't know when I'm going to use them, but I'm going to take these back to my house. Also, I've got these crossbows here that I've managed to loot, and I got some arrows, and I think I figured out how to use them. All right, so this one shoots like a bullet. It says, uh, powerful shots. Looks pretty nice. Let's try this harp crossbow. I think I got this one way earlier. Yo, this one shoots five arrows. Holy. Wait, this one, this one is, this one has to be better, right? I think I'm going to go with the harp crossbow. All right, let's try this out on some creepers here. Whoa, that just one shot him. Maybe he was just low. I'm gonna try to get on this guy. Oh, missed that first shot. Okay, they didn't one shot him, but can we two shot him? There we go. We did two shot him. So this thing is still pretty insane. All right, so I've already noticed some cool structures around this village, Um, but I found this cave here and I think we might want to go mining a bit first. I want to see if there's some cool ores that we can maybe find that might help us with our journeys. Wait, guys, so my pickaxe just broke. Do you hear this huge, like, gushing sound of water? We got to investigate that. Okay, so back at home, I think I've made a decision. So we've been given this diamond sword and uh, these diamond boots, like, really early on. And I feel like it's kind of, like, cheating a little bit, man. Like, we got such good gear right away. I'm gonna throw those away, and I'm gonna make my own kind of stuff. If we see, like, really OP diamond gear, I think I might just leave it be, because that kind of kills a lot of progression in the game. Well, now I've got my own iron sword. I got some iron boots. I'm looking a lot more fresh and a lot more like myself. Back inside that cave, I finally found where all the water was coming from. It seemed like it was a humongous, like, underwater reservoir or something. It was like a giant cave. Fully submerged in water. This was pretty sick. I found some dry land, though, and I went mining for a bit inside of here. Also, when I was mining, look who I found! We came across an old friend once again, our goblin trader. This time he did have some different enchants. Or trades, I mean, not enchants. That was a really good one that had 32 cobblestone for an emerald. Definitely gonna have to try that. And also did the iron trade as well. I love you, my guy. Just gotta figure out how to put you inside a hole. It's gonna be pretty difficult. So I decided to spend the next couple of days just getting some cobble. Hopefully we can get a bit of emeralds, because we know those are great for trading. I did come across a mine shaft with this unknown ore. It was called an amethyst. Pretty interesting. It can be used to make a lightning dragon summoning crystal. That seems very advanced, I don't think I'm that far into this yet. Pretty cool though, that'll just let you guys know. 
Well, 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 look at you over here. Good thing you haven't despawned. Sorry for leaving you in this hole for a while. Once I traded in on my cobble, I was able to get out with five pieces of emerald, which is pretty great. Now, day 20, I gathered some sand because I want to make some little improvements to our house. Still kind of lacking. So I began working on the roof and I was looking to finish it today. And later, I've been seeing these elephants like everywhere and I've always been wondering, do they actually drop me anything? I'm really sorry for harming the wildlife, but I had to check. And no, it did not really drop me anything. The only thing that happened was his other elephant friend got really mad at me and started chasing me. Now today I decided to check out these uh, weird tribal dudes over here. There was a boss bar on the top that read Baruko the Sun Chief, so I think this is like a mini boss or something like that. Anyway, these tribal dudes were pretty easy to fight, and the big one with that shield actually dropped me something. It was like a helmet, where if I put it on, it would give me strength. It just says it grants strength, so I just put it on. Let's see if I can actually notice a difference here. Well, I was actually heading back home to like grab some blocks, and a creeper crept up behind me and exploded a side of my house which had a chest, so this was a bit annoying. I had to clean all this up and fix a gap in my house as well. So what I did with these blocks is I built up behind the sun sheaf and this way it was actually a lot easier for me to go shoot him. I thought I was doing perfectly fine until he struck me with lightning. I ran away and I was trying to dodge these lightning bolts he was trying to cast upon me. I was low health too. With a bunch of these tribal dudes chasing me, I was really scared. I kept on running and running until I made it back to my house where I just closed the door. I felt safe at this moment but now there were like a billion tribal dudes just gathered around my house. By nightfall, the tribal people ran back over to their master. It was safe for me to go outside once again. I just started fighting some mobs because like why not man? That was until I got hit with a blue fireball. For the next couple of days I just tried to like kill this dude but it was proven to be really difficult. I got really low a lot of times. Man those lightning bolts are just so unfair. Right here was actually the closest I ever got to killing him almost halfway but he just heals so incredibly fast it was basically impossible for me. Ultimately I decided I just could not do this. I was taking too many risks and I probably should just come back once I have some better gear. Well, moving on, I found a bunch of like knights or soldier guard looking people just chilling in some fields next to this tower. They actually do do quite a bit of damage, so I gotta be careful here. Yeah, there's like a battle tower looking thing. We're gonna try to go inside of it, see if there's any loot that we can take. Yeah, taking this loot is not gonna be any easy task though. Whoa, did you guys just see that? I think I just killed two people with only one like shot of my bow. It's because I shoot like four or five arrows at a time. Alright, at the top, there's a couple of guards up here as well. Gotta get these guys out of the way. And there we go, last one down. This is when I realized that there was nothing up here. I could not find any sort of chests, no reward. Kind of looks like I didn't really do that for anything. Well, after that depressing battle tower, I went back home and started building a farm because our food source is dropping very, very low. The current ghost village that we're actually in has a ton of food. I grabbed most of it. I'm just going to move it closer to my house. Next, I went out exploring. Also came across this group of pigs, which I kind of need to kill for the food. I like one or two shot at them, so I think my Mask of Fury is actually doing something. It's kind of low durability though, which isn't good because I really like this thing. Yeah, I saw another one of these castles, which we've already seen before. Uh, I think I'm going to go check that out later, but first, I found another abandoned village, it seems. Walking inside of it, the loot was just not very good so far. Basically the exact same thing as the one we have near our house. Did find one of these ruined nether portals though, and inside of the chest we had two golden swords with some random enchants on them, and a weird looking sword over here as well as the frostbite helmet that had 50% XP gathering and some range damage increase. That's pretty cool, probably come in handy once my current helmet breaks. You already know, can't forget to grab that gold block. Yeah, going back in the village, I checked a lot of the chests and the loot just was not great at all. I'm only taking the bread at this point. I did find this random group of knights or soldiers out here. Not sure what you guys are doing, but uh, I, I had some fun with them. While I was running around doing my explorer things, this really weird chicken slash rooster thing came up to me and hit me with some sort of poisonous, nauseous beam of black energy. That was, it was worrying, man. I just wanted to see something. And that something that I wanted to see was this thing right here. I don't know if he was guarding it or not, but it was like a really big dragon carcass. It looked really cool and I stood here for a while trying to figure out what to do with it. I'm not sure if I can like use it or like kill it in some way uh but yeah at the end I never could figure out anything so just had to leave it there. I even went out toward the oceans and looked around in the waters and found this weird looking thing. It had some prismarine blocks around it. It was actually a chest that was filled to the brim with a lot of good loot including an ancient tome with power five kind of crazy. We got to figure out how to put that thing on a bow. Arriving back at our hometown, I finished up looting around the village. Somehow I just didn't do that because I thought there wasn't really a need to, but I decided to go back there anyway and good thing I did because I did find some more emeralds in some of these chests. 
Next, I finally entered the castle that was nearby my house. We've already explored one that is very similar. Got some steak and arrows and some nice golden apples. I was also able to kill this big dude over here and he dropped a heavy plate helmet, which looked like it was better than my current helmet. Had to kill this guy first, panicked a little, but at the end I think I was okay. Let me box myself in just for extra safety. Alright, now I can look at this thing. So this has five defense, I think, and my current helmet only has two, but it does do a little bit more damage. I think the new one that I have is probably better, so I'm gonna use that. I found many chests that had goodies including a diamond chest plate which I did not take, a diamond sword which I also didn't take, and diamond boots which I didn't take. And finally, protection for book. I did take this one, the other ones I felt like were a bit too much. This was pretty similar to our other experience where it just gave us a bunch of overpowered loot. Looking inside my chests, I gathered all of my iron and I found out I had way over a stack of iron so I made an anvil. And now, once I have some better diamond gear, I can apply this protection book to it. Yeah, we only have one diamond right now, I probably should go mining for some more. Also, I took on these tribal dudes outside of my house. These guys are always camping on here like every single morning, I just gotta fight them. Yeah, I wonder though, how come your like, master or god is just so powerful, man? I, like, I'm too scared to even challenge them at this point. One of them dropped this mask of fear that grants me speed. This is gonna be pretty nice to keep on hand because when I'm just traveling around, I can wear it and make me faster. I then decided to continue my journey. Being a medieval knight, I traverses through all the bodies biomes, all the mountains, looking for some interesting structures, just some good loot. My first breakthrough discovery was this weird, a huge creeper head made out of some different kind of stone. There was also a boss bar located on the top of my screen, so I hoped that there was some sort of thing I had to do, some sort of fight, but it looked like this was just a solid block of stone. It doesn't seem like there's anything too interesting going on in here. My next great discovery was this mound of dirt. I'm finding a lot of mounds that just have nothing inside of it. Other than that spider spawner though, when I dug down, there just wasn't anything that I found. The second mount of dirt, however, had some nice loot with a chest on top. We got one more diamond. That's always great. But the mount of dirt was exactly the same as the previous one. The next day, I mainly spent my time just sorting out all of my chests. I wish I would have done this earlier because it was a really tough job to do this so late in the playthrough. Like, my chests were all a mess. Now guys, that is going to conclude it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. This was a completely new thing for me to try out, doing a medieval styled mod pack. It was really interesting. Well, before I move on, here are two common shout out winners from the previous episode of the Ocean Only Full Movie. Here you guys are up on the screen. Congratulations to you two for winning this common shout out. Now, if you want to have a chance to be featured in the next episode, all you got to do is comment down the secret code word of this video. We're going to call it dragons. And basically how this works is I'm going to pick two to four random people in the next episode to be featured in the end of the video as a common shout out winner. Well, once again, thank you guys so much for sticking with me through the whole video. If you liked it, make sure you smash that like button. If you didn't like it, make sure you dislike it. It tells me how you guys feel about the videos. And that is going to be all for today. I hope all of you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you guys next time.